Hello guys and welcome to this new Tableau tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create the following interactive dashboard, which is about stock market analysis. The data set that we are going to use is available on Kaggle and it contains data for about 6,000 companies. To create our dashboard, we are going to pick six files for six different companies, which are Apple, Facebook, Google, Nvidia, Tesla, and Twitter. And also, we are going to use Pandas with its built-in functions to manipulate our data and create new columns that we will use in our analysis, like for example, moving average and person change, which are mainly used for comparison. As you can see here, we are going to create different KPIs. We'll have also a highlighter for different companies. As you can see here, for example, if we choose the company, we can see the different values. We're going to create a multiple line chart for different volumes, and different companies. Same thing, we are going to create a detailed table for close price and volume. Another multiple line chart for moving average and the open price. And also a histogram for different companies which represent percent change in price. So now let's explore our data set. So here we have stock market data set, which represent the historical daily prices of Nasdaq traded stocks and ETFs. We can find this link in the description. And as you can see here, it is a huge data set, which is more than 500 megabytes. So you can either choose to download this data set, or you can find also the links to my GitHub repository, where you can download the six files that we are going to use to create our dashboard. As we have said, this data set contains historical data prices for all tickers currently trading on NASDAQ. And it contains prices for up to April 1st, 2020. And if you need more up-to-date data, you can fork and rerun data collection script also available from Kaggle. For data structure, we have mainly seven columns, right? So we have the date, specifies trading date, we have opening price, the maximum price during the day, the minimum price during the day, close price adjusted for splits, for both dividends and splits, and also we have the volume, which represents the number of shares that changed hands during a given day. But as I said, we are not going to use directly these files and upward them to Tableau, but we are going first to use Pandas in order to create new columns that we are going to use in our analysis. So you open your Jupyter Notebook, and if you are not familiar with Pandas, then you can find the links to the resulting files that we are going to create using Pandas, and you can use them directly to create the dashboard. So first to import Pandas as PD, right? Next, we are going to import our CSV files. So the first one is apple pd.readcsv, right? And its name is aapl.csv. Next, we have Facebook. So it is pd.readcsv. This fb.csv. Next, we have Google pd.readcsv and it is google.csv next we have nvidia right pd.nvda.csv next we have tesla sla.csv and the last one is Twitter the same thing pt.readcsv and it is twtr.csv we execute that if we write apple.head so we get the first file same thing for Facebook Google.head NVIDIA we have Tesla and finally we have Twitter okay so like that we have all the files that we need and the second thing that we are going to do is to create a list of data frames so we call it DFS 
which will contain all the data frames so we have Apple then we have Facebook Google Nvidia Tesla and Twitter the reason to create our list is rather than applying the same function six times we are going to use a for loop and apply the same function to our list the first thing that we are going to do is to create the moving average so to do that we write for df in our list dfs so for each data frame i'm going to add a column which is moving average 50 which is equal to df dot we take the close price and we use a rolling built-in function 50 dot mean all right so we copy that and we do the same thing for moving average 200 so 200 and here same thing 200 so if we run that and we, for example we select apple dot head we get our two new columns as you can see here we have not a number for the first rows because for the first one it starts from 50 for the second one it starts from 200 so if we write 50 run we get our value starting from 50 same thing if we write 200 run as you can see here it starts from this row okay next we are going to create another column which is named previous day close price so i'm going to use this column in order to calculate the daily change regarding the close price okay so to do that we write for df in dfs so df we name it previous day close price it is equal to df dot we set close price and we are going to use the shift built-in function one run that same thing if we take apple dot head so we have previous day close price this one it is not a number because it is the first one but for the second one for example if we take the date which is this one the previous close price is this one and it is the same in here same thing for 17th before we have this price and it is the same in here okay now i'm going to create another column that we will name change in price okay so same thing for df in dfs df we said change in price it is equal to df close price minus df the column that we have created so previous day close price so if we run that same thing apple dot head we get our change in price okay so if it is negative it means it decreased if it is positive it increased so we add new cells next we calculate the person change or the return and to do that we are going to use pct change or person change built in function same thing right for df in dfs df we call it percent change in price right it is equal to df dot close dot pct change or percent change if we execute that same thing we write apple dot head get our percent change so it is the close price minus previous day close price so it is change in price divided by previous day close price okay so this is the return now i'm going to create three more columns and this time i'm going to create that using the volume so we write for df in dfs df so we said previous day volume right it is equal to df dot volume dot shift and write one so if we write apple dot head we get the previous day volume 
so you can see here we have the following volume the previous day volume is this one and it is equal to this value same thing we calculate change in volume right so for df in dfs df change in volume it is equal to df volume right minus df previous day volume okay same thing apple dot head and here we have the change okay same thing it can be negative or it can be positive and the last column is person change in volume okay so for df in dfs so df percent change in volume it is equal to df dot volume dot percent change okay and volume v it is capital case right so apple dot head and we get our percent change in volume okay now what we are going to do is that we are going to save our data frames as csv files that we are going to use to create our dashboard to do that we write for the first one apple dot to csv and we give it a name so we write apple dot csv okay so by default it will be stored or it will be it will be saved in the same place where i have the jupyter notebook but you can choose any location you want okay next one we have facebook dot to csv and we write the same thing facebook dot csv next we have google dot csv it will be google dot csv same thing for nvidia right to csv dot to csv right and it is the same name so nvidia dot csv next we have tesla right dot to csv it is tesla dot csv and the last one it will be twitter dot to csv and same thing we write twitter dot csv if we execute that so we get our files so here we have our list of the csv files and when we drag apple and drop it in here we can see the following table now what we are going to do since all the tables have the same data structure and all the columns have the same data types so we click on the down icon in here convert to union we drag and drop all the files into our union right facebook google nvidia tesla and twitter apply okay and as you can see here a new column will be appeared which is table name so here we have one single table and we can distinguish between data from one table to another using this column which is table name so we're going to change its name into company so you click on the icon in here rename and you name it company okay same thing you click one more time aliases and we remove dot csv for all the files okay same thing for facebook for google nvidia tesla and twitter okay so like that we get the name of the companies next to make our analysis much simpler we are going to add what we call data source filter so we click on add add date okay years next and here we select the last five years so 2020 19 18 17 and 16. okay okay so like that we have only the last five years in the data set so you click on your worksheet 
and we are going to create two parameters so you click on the down icon in here create parameter we name it start date data type it will be a date range fixed add values from date okay same thing create another parameter and date data type it will be date range fixed add values from date okay next we create a calculated field so you click on the down icon in here create calculated field and we name it study period so we say if date is greater or equal then start date and date is less or equal than end date give me one else zero and apply okay and we convert it to a dimension so we click convert to dimension so you click in here show parameter same thing for the end date show parameter so you can decrease to the minimum right for start date and for maximum for end date what we are going to do is that we are going to visualize the volume for different companies depending on the date so we drag and drop date into column and we select exact date same thing we drag and drop the volume into the rows we drag and drop company into color and as you can see here we have the volume for different companies we drag and drop study period into the filter we select one apply ok we double click on this axis we remove the title same thing for the date we remove the title and as you can see here if we change the date we can see our charts are changing we can also modify the colors so edit colors for apple which is gray facebook blue google yellow nvidia green tesla red and twitter choose this color apply okay so we name the sheet volume okay and we click on format workbook and we format our workbook so for worksheets we select bold black eight for the titles we select bold black 11 grid lines off zero lines same thing off and axis sticks in black axis rulers in black okay we double click on the title and we put it in the center apply okay so like that we get our multiple line chart for the volume of the different companies depending on the date next we are going to create a histogram for price person change so you click on new worksheet we name it price percent change all right we double click on percent change in price we click on show more histogram we remove this one we drag and drop company into color study period into filters we select one apply ok we click on the bins edit and we select 0 0.0025 ok we double click on the axis so we remove bin and we select fixed so we select minus 0 0.1 to 0 0.1 okay so like that we get our histogram for price percent change double click on the axis we remove the title we double click on the title and we put it in the center apply okay and like that we get our histogram for percent change in price next we are going to create multiple line chart for moving average and open price so new worksheet All right moving average and open price 
So we drag and drop measure names into the filters. None. We select MA200, MA50, and open. Apply OK. We drag and drop the date into the columns. We select the exact date. Same thing. We drag and drop measure values into the rows. We press on Ctrl key and we drag and drop measure names into the color. We can edit the colors. For example, you click in here, edit colors. We can select, for example, winter, right? For MA200, we can select this color. MA50, this color. And for open, we can select this color. Apply. OK. We drag and drop company into filters. We select one. Apply. OK. We show the filter and we select custom remove all and single value drop down. Double click on the axis, we remove the title. Same thing for the date. We double click on the title and we put it in the center. Apply, OK. We right click on the axis, format, and we select numbers, currency, custom, and we select zero decimal places. OK. So like that, we get our multiplying chart for moving average and open price. Next, we are going to create detailed price table, the worksheet. So we name it detailed price table. So we have company. Then we have close price. It will be discrete. Next, we have previous day close price same thing it will be discrete then we have change in price same thing discrete and person change in price we put it in text same thing it will be discrete but what we want really to do is to display the close price of the last day and we want to control this last day. So to do that, we are going to create calculated field. We name it last day only. And we say if date equals to max, since we want to control this last day, we are going to put end date, then one, else zero and but as you can see here we have an error it says that cannot mix aggregate and no aggregate arguments with this function so what we are going to do is that we are going to add LOD right so write fixed max and date then one else zero so here we have last day only apply okay we convert it to dimension and we drag and drop it into the filters we select one apply okay so as you can see here we have last day only and we can control it using the end date so we can show the start date show end date right and like that it is changing, right? But as you can see here, we don't have a name for this column since we put it in text. What we are going to do is that we drag and drop measure names into columns. We right click, edit aliases, and we put change in percentage. Okay. We click on it, format, pane, and it will be percentage okay same thing for the remaining so right click format header numbers it will be custom number custom to decimal places same thing for this one number custom and for close number custom okay so like that we get our table we can also add study period to the filters we select one apply Okay, we can increase the width. All 
all right now we need to create the arrows right so you click on down icon in here create calculated field the first one we call it upper price so we say if person change in price is positive right then so we copy and paste the upper arrow so same thing you can find the link in the description to this file right so we copy the upper arrow we put it in here and so this is upper price apply okay we create another calculated field we name it down price same thing if person change in price is negative right then so same thing we copy and paste the down arrow and apply okay so drag and drop upper price into text same thing down price into text we click on text we click on three dots and we rearrange that right so we cut put it in here same thing for down price we put it in here so upper price we put it in green and down price we put it in red put it in the center apply okay so like that we have our rows so if we select another date where we have both positive and negative so as you can see here if it is positive then it will be green if it is negative it will be red now we are going to format our sheet double click put it in the center apply okay for the price we are going to add the so format it will be currency custom same thing for this one currency custom change in price same thing currency custom okay it will be in the center same thing for the header in the center and we add our borders put everything in black So just for change in price, we have to put it as currency standard, right? So like that, we get our detail table for the price. Next, we are going to add another detail table for the volume. So click on your worksheet. We name it detailed volume table. Okay. So drag and drop the company into the rows. Next, we have volume. It will be discrete. Next, we have previous day volume. Same thing, it will be discrete. Then we have change in volume. Discrete. And person change in volume, we put it in text. Same thing, it will be discrete. So we increase the size. And we put major names into the colors. Now we select last day only. One. Apply. OK. So show parameter. Show parameter. Study period. We put it as one. Apply. OK. Convert it into a percentage format pane it will be percentage so right click format we put everything in the center right and now we will add the arrows so for down price we duplicate this one and edit we name it down volume right And same thing, person change in value. Apply. Okay. Same thing for upper price. 
so duplicate edit and it will be upper value and same thing we change the price into volume apply okay so draw can drop upper volume into text same thing for down volume we click on text three dots and where we arrange so we cut paste same thing cut paste so upper we put it in green and down we put it in red in the center apply okay now we can format that so format at the borders and put everything in black can increase the width like that we get our detailed volume table we just put the title in the center apply ok and now I'm going to create our text sheets so click on your sheet the first one we name it last day So create one calculated field and we name it last day text and it will be last day apply ok we create another one create calculated field we name it last day and it will be max and date apply ok so we drag and drop last day text into text same thing last day into text so we hide title and we are going to format that we select pane and we select this format so like that we get a clear idea about the day that we are selecting as last day because as you know on saturday and sunday we don't have data all right so here we know exactly which day of the week we are selecting we are going to format that so we put it in the center we click on text so the first one we put it in 10 and the second one we put it in 9 apply ok so here we have our last day so duplicate this we create another one we call it last day total volume right so we copy we create calculated field we name it last day total volume and we add our text apply okay so we remove this we remove this we drag and drop last day total volume into text we drag and drop last day only into the filters and we select one apply okay and we drag and drop the volume into text so here we have last day total volume same thing we click on text we put the first one in 10 and the second one in nine apply okay so same thing we duplicate this one and we name it lowest price in the period okay so remove everything we drag and drop study period into the filters we select one apply okay we create calculated field we name it lowest price in the period same thing we add our text apply okay we drag and drop lowest price into text and same thing we have here the low price into text we select minimum we can also format that and it will be currency custom all right 
same thing you click on text push the first one in 10 and the second one in 9 apply ok increase a little bit all right duplicate this one so now we select the highest price in the period right and as you know the period depends on the start date and end date so we keep the study period and we remove that we create another calculated field we name it highest price in the period same thing the string highest price in the period apply ok drag and drop it into text and also we drag and drop here high into text and we select the maximum same thing we format that and it will be custom currency we click on text we put this as 10 and this one as 9 apply ok so duplicate this one we'll have total volume in the period right we create another calculated field we name it total volume in the period and the string it will be the same apply ok so remove the two we drag and drop total volume into text and same thing we drag and drop the volume into text we click on it so the first one it will be 10 and the second one it will be 9 apply ok now create our title ok so new worksheet we name it title ok and we create calculated field we name it title and it's gonna be stock market right dashboard apply ok so you put it in text we hide this title right click format and we put it as 48 and it will be in the center so like that we have created all the text sheets next we are going to create our dashboard so we click on new dashboard we define our size so we have 1850 and 1050 okay now we are going to add blanks right so first one have here second one third one fourth fifth okay Add another one in here so like that we have for the four okay we add another one on the top like that and we add the remaining for the kpi so one blank another blank another blank another blank and another blank okay next we click on dashboard format we select the following color right next for the first one which is for the title background we select the third one 70 percent okay we add the outer padding right put it as 15 for the remaining we are going to add the background as white so for this one it will be white and the same thing 15 same thing for the others so here 15 and it will be white 
same thing for this one put it to white background white fifteen borders none and background white same thing for this one background white fifteen white fifteen same thing fifteen white white fifteen okay and the last one we put it same thing as fifteen and background white all right so now we have to rearrange the sizes okay and here same thing we increase a little bit like that Okay, so now we have our design. Next, we are going to drag and drop our sheets. So we select floating, right? And we start by volume, right? So here we have the end date. Put it like that. And edit title, we put it in the center. Okay. Same thing, start date put it in here and edit title in the center All right we add our highlighters so company we put it in here right edit title remove highlight put it in the center okay next here we remove the title and we put it in here right now we increase our size okay so we have our volume Next, we have the price person change. I right? to put it in here, same thing. So we'll put it like that. Increase. Put it in here. Can also add the legend, but it's the same. Okay. So remove the title put it like that okay next we add the moving average and the open price right so put it like that so here we have our legend remove the title put it in here like that for the company same thing we remove the title and we put it in here so we can change the company okay that's great The highlighter also it is applied on the histogram. 
next we are going to add our tables so detailed price so we hide the title same thing for the volume we hide the title and also we hide the header right so we put it as entire view same thing for this one as entire view and we are going to rearrange that so for the first one put it in here like that and we add this one so decrease decrease same thing for this one can decrease okay all right so like that we have our detail table okay for both close price and volume okay and as you can see here when we select the highlighter it is applied on the tables and also the histogram with the multiple line chart next we are going to add our kpis right so we have last day we hide the title and we put it in here All right okay next we have last day total volume same thing we hide the title put it like that lowest price High title put it inside okay highest price same thing high title it inside like that and the last one is total volume high title same thing we put it inside okay now we add our title same thing high title increase it like that like that format for the shading we select none and we put it inside okay just put it in the center and now we add the logos for the companies so same thing floating we click on double click on image first one is apple logo okay so you put it like that all right same thing double click facebook All right. 
we have Google put it like that next we have Nvidia same thing we put it in here then we have Tesla so the links to download these logos are available in the description okay and now we'll add the last one which is Twitter So now if we select the presentation mode and like that we get our final stock market dashboard so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial